Airways and Airbus are not getting friends anytime soon. Airbus did cancel the fourth A350 for Qatar Airways. Lufthansa staff is um, completely devastated as they cannot work anymore. They have a sick ratio of 40% and they did write to the CEO, to the director's board, to the supervisory board, to everyone who is willing to listen. Who is willing to listen is the supervisory board because they have today a special meeting with the management of Lufthansa, especially with Carsten Spohr. He has to explain his decisions. Will he be fired today? Good question. Dear Zone, Stockholm with Lufthansa Group in business class to Asia, not Dubai. Stay tuned for that. And we have, of course, a special with IHG. IHG is selling points and is increasing the amount of points that you can buy. So you can get up to half a million IHG points. My name is Lars. I'm here to bring you more miles, more points and more status. Very important, like always, is to support the channel, to subscribe, to hit the notification button, the bell. And of course, do not forget to send a like and a comment. Thank you for doing so. First topic today, Qatar Airways. Qatar Airways and Airbus are in a fight, in a dispute about the color. Lufthansa has the same problem, Finna has the same problem, Air France and everyone who has 350s knows about the problem. But Qatar Airways decided to go into front of a court and ask for one billion, yes, for one billion dollars compensation for this. Of course, um, when you saw the pictures on CNN, Richard Quest had the um, opportunity to have a look on the A350 with the paint issues. And I have to say, these pictures, <laughs> it, it, it is not uh, reassuring and very safe to uh, see that, in my opinion. But of course, you have to always keep in mind that the aircrafts are sitting in the sun. And I have been living in the Middle East for a long time. And I saw a lot of cars, for example, which, which took a toll. And when you're living in California and other sunny states, or wherever in the world where the sunshine, the color is going to degrade. Um, of course, this shouldn't happen as fast, but like we uh, realized, Airbus says it's a cosmetic problem, Qatar says it's a safety issue, uh, no one else says it except Qatar and their um, authorities. Anyways, um, there are now 23 A350s, 900 and 1000s grounded due to that. And um, the fourth A350, which was not taken from the friends of Qatar, yeah, then Airbus just canceled it and said, no, bye bye. And that is something which, of course, is uh, putting more gasoline in the fire. And um, we have to see that uh, Qatar Airways lost one of the battles, but not the war until now. We will see. They have to have a solution. They have to discuss how they can uh, get this thing going. I mean, when you see that uh, Qatar Airways got the cancellation of the 320 Neos, 50 each, which they need really, went to uh, Boeing and bought there some aircraft. I don't know if this is a real buy or just an kind of a letter of intent that they intend to do it. We will see, but again, for the chronic, it is important to know now that Airbus is still Fighting Qatar, kind of. Qatar is like a child but doesn't want to hear. But what is your opinion about it? What do you think? Today, there was an interview on um, one of the radio stations, RBB, that is from Berlin, a regional one. And the head of the German cockpit union was talking. And uh, the Verdi was talking as well. Verdi is the union for the um, ground staff, for example. And they say that they have 40% of the people working on the ground are sick, not due to COVID. They are sick because of the psychological problems which they have to face 
every day when facing the passengers. And uh, of course, the corona pandemic was not something which made it easier. A lot of employers made this mistake to fire everyone. And in Germany especially, but you, know, you saw it in Amsterdam yesterday, the pictures. It's for everyone the same shit show. And it's unfortunately not very easy to get the people back. But if you fire them first and then they do not return because they found something better, sure. When you come back now to the situation of the 90s where they liberalized, liberalized the um, aviation market, the prices went down. But we had earlier this year that they were fighting for one euro. When you say from 19 euros to 20 euros, one euro is a lot of money. But they thought, of course, that in East and West Germany, the prices are the same, what the uh, employer has to pay for stuff. And, and that was one of the main concerns they did have. And uh, this said, of course, the prices went down. There are 30 companies who are offering the security services just for uh, Germany so that you know what we are talking about. But to have this situation where we have competition is on one side, of course, making sense to lower the prices. But if you lower the prices, what the people uh, get paid, of course, the people are not interested in these jobs. And that is the problem. And... Um, Yeah, COVID was used to get rid of uh, of expensive employees. You saw it on the SIS mainline thing where they uh, fired classic from SIS classic, they call it classic or they call it mainline, uh, the pilots and they couldn't return. And so they are on strike there as well. So that is a problem. But why are the people having these issues? Because too many people were fired and the um, attacks they have to face, unbelievable, it's not acceptable. That is the reason why the um, Lufthansa staff was sending a mayday, mayday, mayday or pan, pan, pan. Depends how severe you see the level. They say that the uh, system has a couple of tensions and uh, Lufthansa especially has the problems in 2022 with the employees. And now the employees are telling the management enough is enough. They wrote a letter and they said, of course, you see that Lufthansa is canceling flights. Uh, 900 first, then 200, 2,200 more, that is 3,100. And Lufthansa is still discussing maybe they should um, have some flights which should be cancelled. So a nightmare. And um, that is not a good thing. Then I told you that the um, head of the of the um, cockpit union, Vereinigung Cockpit, that is the um, pilots union in Germany, or one of them, Matthias Bayer said today in the infotainment radio RBB um, that too many pilots were just fired and um, we have to get back to a system which is work able so it, it can be used and they need a little bit more of, of, a, of a cushion. It cannot be that you are having still stuff that you need so you are understaffed and people are sick so you have to get to a situation where you can handle the passengers and the sick rate. And even Lufthansa itself, they have not enough managers for that. They have managers who have, they fired. I know myself, some people who worked for Lufthansa who just resigned because the positions they were offered, not acceptable. And um, that is something why they wrote a letter to the um, supervisory board and basically to anyone who wants to read it. Otherwise it wouldn't be leaked to the, to the press as well. And um, they say that the management had anticipated for 2022 in February still that um, Lufthansa has to redimensionize, so it had to be smaller to shrink. And that is why they had to get rid of stuff. In my episode, Passengers Are Animals, um, they say that it's a dramatic way what is happening. It is dramatic at the gate. Police has to escort stuff to the gates for doing the check-in, has to escort them back. Passengers have been throwing um, monitors, everything, even the, the plastic COVID shields were thrown. Uh, one flight manager I know of had to be uh, hospitalized because he had to get uh, uh, some stitches. He got, I don't know if it was uh, where in the face it was, but he had to get stitches because he got injured seriously by things that got thrown on him. Then, of course, Lufthansa uh, had been saving, 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 and, uh, and that was maybe the right thing to do because they panicked. But uh, now that is um, 
so bad that the 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 relationship between the management or the executive committee and the management and the staffing on the ground is so bad that uh, it's uh, damaged. That is what they say. And due to that, that it's damaged, there is today a special meeting of the supervisory board. The supervisory board of Lufthansa said, Carsten Spohr, the management, come to us and explain what you did and what are your ways out of the crisis. And um, some people say that it could be the last day for Carsten Spohr to work. Of course, not properly the last because he has to hand over the stuff properly. But um, in my opinion, um, the position of the CEO, of course, is, is, is damaged. That is for sure. And Carsten Spohr said, of course, like I reported yesterday, I'm sorry, I made mistakes. We were not uh, optimistic enough. We did fire too many people. Uh, instead of 100, uh, uh, what was it, 130, uh, 380 people uh, from the cockpit, they are missing. And he said that uh, they did fire too many people. So that is something, of course, the first step uh, uh, to make, improve things is to uh, accept mistakes. But this special meeting or extraordinary meeting, which never had happened before, that never in, in, in the existence of Lufthansa since 1955, or even before, uh, Lufthansa celebrates now 1955 as their birth year, even they existed before as well, but that's a different story, um, is that it was the first time and the only time that Lufthansa supervisor board said, we have the cash, we have the power, you come to us, explain what your expectations for the future is. And um, if this is the end of the career of Lufthansa, uh, Lufthansa boss Carsten Spohr, I don't think so. Because, um, of course, the, the work people or the unions want to have more transparency when it goes um, to decisions why he's deciding and what is his uh, future path. But I'm pretty sure when it came to this firing, The management was supported by the supervisory board and I think they are normally the one who want to keep the cash together and want to get the big uh, uh, cash out. So in my opinion that is something which is um, maybe a little bit artificial as well but this was uh, this supervisory meeting was asked by the workers union because they have space there as well they have to, there are some people sitting. So um, I think it's more a political thing. I don't think that they kick Carsten Spohr out. What is your opinion? Do you think that Carsten Spohr is uh, getting kicked out, especially when you see that this uh, meeting is about, of course, that Lufthansa is only selling in the highest uh, fare basis? I don't know. He has to explain it. But I think as well that the management has done its uh, fair share of deciding as well. I mean, if he did just what the supervisory board said, tick okay, then okay, if not, issue is a problem. What is a problem? It is a problem that things are not working. And yesterday I re received so many letters from CEOs from airlines that I thought, mm, what are they always telling? When you see, for example, tap, take another plane, no, no pun intended, but that is this joke about uh, Pia, Pia is, I think, uh, please inform Allah. But anyways, Uh, on Monday, um, she wanted to apologize um, for what happened in Lisboa uh, over the uh, or is it Lisbon? Lisboa, I think it's Lisboa. Uh, over the weekend, when 100 flights were cancelled, and uh, the message from Christine Omieres Weidener, she's the CEO of Tap Group. Um, I mean, why do you send an email? I mean, then uh, uh, Anko van der Werf did send an email as well that everything is going well with uh, euro bonus, we shouldn't be scared, we can still use the points, blah, 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 blah. I mean, why are they sending so many letters? And then what I think is the funniest, when they F up the things, they, draw, <laughs> they, they write on the letter, hope to see you aboard and soon, thank you. Uh, Christina Omeris Weidener, CEO Tap Air Portugal. I don't know what uh, Anko van der Werf did to sign, uh, write about something, uh, happy to see you on board again or so. I mean, what? Are you really happy that we are coming? I mean, sometimes I have the feeling you are not happy because you are penny crunching and, and doing so much BS. But at the end of the day, get your job done. And I think that um, 
especially TAP had no fortune when it came to aviation. And this uh, take another plane has a uh, history, of course. And for that reason, I hope that the um, airlines do now their job and get the passengers um, yeah, where they want to go to. And that this is something, what is it, their job? Make us happy again, make flying as great as it was. Hotels. Um, I didn't talk a lot about hotels in the in the past, but now we have a promotion I have to uh, introduce to you on IHG One Rewards. You can buy in a flash sale, which is going until July 15th, 2022, up to half a million points. How does it work? Normally you just can buy 150,000 points. This limit is increased to 250,000. This 250,000 is the maximum you can buy, but then you get the points doubled. Yes, you can get it doubled, 500,000 points in total for a cash of 2,500 US dollars. So 0.5 cents each, very simple calculation. But does it make sense? Um, I mean, if you have a use case, it makes sense. But unfortunately, as the prices are not any more fixed, they are variable, um, there has been, of course, some uh, uh, excellent point values, but unfortunately, it's not anymore as much as the case as it used to be, but sometimes you are lucky. And I think that um, if they are primarily based on the cash price for the night, um, then it's a little bit a problem because sometimes it makes no sense. But sometimes it makes so much sense that you buy, especially when this is a 100% bonus with the increased level. So for that reason, I would recommend you to buy the points, to get the points. The offer is valid since 5th of July uh, until 15th of July, 2022. And I would recommend you to buy those points, especially when you have a use case. I used them in Berlin for the ELA. I was late to uh, book the hotel room. I used 140,000 points instead of, uh, I think, approximately 800 something euros. So I thought it was a great deal. I didn't want to pay 800 cash. Um, comment and uh, write us if you think the offer is great. Write us if you think that the IHG promotion should be taken care of or what hotels you recommend to use it. Deal zone, deal zone. Uh, with Swiss or Lufthansa Group from Stockholm to Bangkok for 1,500 and something euros. Yes, you can fly from Stockholm, Arlanda, in the booking class Z. Z is a booking class which makes more fun than P. P, like Paula or Papa, um, gives you only 100%. But Zulu, this is the uh, fare base for this one, in Zulu, you pay only the 1,500, but you get 150% um, of the mileage. The minimum stay is not mentioned. The maximum stay is 12 months. Any other restrictions? Nothing. There are no restrictions. Um, then when you look for availabilities, um, it's a little bit difficult sometimes, but when you look for December, maybe you find something. I did find something for customers in December as well, very well. You can book these deals, of course, with the online travel agency, you can search with Google Flights or, of course, on lufthansa.com bookable or swiss.com. If you are collecting miles, I want to let you know that you get 19,376 miles plus 100 uh, plus 1.5 because of the promotion. If you collect with Lufthansa, then you get 25% executive bonus on top, of course, don't forget that as well. So it's a good uh, offer, in my opinion, for getting more miles, more points, more status. If you're collecting with uh, Euro bonus, if you are living on the edge, you just get the normal mileage, which would be 19,376, if I'm not mistaken, but I think we have to... No, Scandinavian Airlines gives you only 30,098, where to credit is very clear about that. So, thank you for watching Frequent Traveler TV Takeoff in today's episode. Thank you for subscribing, for hitting the notification button, and of course, thank you for leaving us a like or leaving us a comment. Thank you. Looking forward to see you tomorrow at the next episode, Frequent Traveler TV Takeoff, and um, 